Oh, hey, hi. How you doing today? Well, I'm home, like many of you. And since we're stuck here, I've spent the week cooking and reading and crocheting and praying. And truthfully, I'm feeling a little useless. As many of you know, my husband is the director of ICU and respiratory services at a local hospital. And he's been busy, really busy, taking care of sick people and patients and, and his people. You see, he considers everybody who works in the ICU as his people. He's very protective of them and he just wants to keep them safe. And likewise, as his family, we're his people as well. And so to protect us, he's staying away from us. So we probably won't see him for several weeks. And as I sit here, I feel really useless because he's out there fighting. He's out there healing and learning and protecting and trying to heal. And yet, a great reminder comes from the book of Exodus when Moses is about to send Joshua uh, out to fight. So let's read from the book of Exodus. <clears throat> Exodus 13, verses 8 through 13. Then Amalek came and fought with Israel at Rephidim. So Moses said to Joshua, Choose for us men and go out and fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the staff of God in my hand. So Joshua did as Moses told him and fought with Amalek while Moses, Aaron, and Hur went on to the top of the hill. Whenever Moses held up his hand, Israel prevailed. And whenever he lowered his hand, Amalek prevailed. But Moses' hands grew weary, so they took a stone and put under him, and he sat on it while Aaron and Hur held up his hands one on one side and one on the other. So his hands were steady until the going down of the sun and Joshua overwhelmed Amalek and his people with the sword. You see, it was Joshua's job to fight. It was Moses's job to pray. Both were important, both were needed. And now I finally get it. It's my husband's job to fight right now. It's my job to pray. Would you pray with me? Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us different gifts and talents. I lift up all those working in healthcare, doctors, nurses, therapists, techs, cooks, cleaners, administration, and security. Their job is never easy, Lord. And in the midst of this pandemic, they're getting low on supplies, energy, and sleep while patients continue to flow in. Be with each of them, Lord, as they continue to work as your hands and feet. Amen. Thanks for joining us today.